This is Dr. B, and we're going to look at the crisscross method today. It's a real fast way to write the formulas for ionic compounds. So let me show you one, and then we'll do some examples in practice. Calcium nitride. It's ionic. We have a metal and a nonmetal. So we write Ca, and then we write N. That's for the nitrogen there. Nitride is from nitrogen. Now we look the charges up, 2 plus, 3 minus. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And now we crisscross them. So we move the three here and the two here, get rid of the charges here, and that's it. This is the formula for calcium nitride, Ca3N2. And the charges, they all balance out. So let's do some practice to make sure you get this. So let's do three or four of these. Why don't we do calcium fluoride? So we've got calcium, we've got fluorine, metal, and nonmetal, this is an ionic compound, so we have to think about the charge here. This is the trend for charge. So I'll write calcium, Ca, and then fluoride, that's from fluorine, so F. Now for the charges, calcium's in group two, two plus. Fluorine is right here, group 17. These are one minus, so we put our one minus. And now we can just crisscross them. Take the one down here and the two here, Get rid of these charges here. And we don't write the one by convention. Calcium fluoride, CaF2. And the charges, they all balance out. Let's try another one. So pause and give this one a try. Calcium sulfate. And the trick here, when you see ATE, you're not going to find it on the periodic table. Sulfate is one of those you have to memorize. SO4, 2 minus. So give it a try using the crisscross method. So again, we've got calcium, Ca, and we know it's in group two, so it's two plus. Then the sulfate, because it says eight, we know that we're not gonna find it on the periodic table. We just need to memorize this as the sulfate ion, SO4. And the whole thing has a two minus ionic charge. And you can see that these charges here, they balance out. Just get rid of them and you're done. That's the formula for calcium sulfate. So now I'm going to give you a little more difficult sulfate to write the formula for. Aluminum sulfate. Give it a try. So we have aluminum right here. That's our metal. And then the sulfate, that's a polyatomic ion. It's an ionic compound. We write Al for aluminum. And then we write the sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. And it's always SO4, 2 minus. Now aluminum, that's right here. So it has a 3 plus ionic charge. So we're going to crisscross them. Move the two here, the three here. Let's get rid of this. And we can't really have the four and three here together. This three means we have three sulfate ions. So we need to put parentheses around it. That's the formula for aluminum sulfate. And if you look at the charges, three times two minus, that's six minus. Two times the three plus, that's six plus. Six plus, six minus, that balances out. Let's do another. Iron three oxide. And the three is because this is a transition metal. That means it has a three plus ionic charge. So write the formula for iron three oxide. Iron, that's Fe. Oxide, that's from oxygen right here. That's O, that's gonna be two minus. And we know this is three plus because it's called iron three. Let's just move that up there. Now we just need to crisscross. Three goes here, two goes here, and you've got the formula for iron three oxide, Fe2O3. All right, one last one, and we'll call it good. Carbon dioxide. Give it a try, and be careful. Make sure you know what you have up here in terms of metals and nonmetals. So carbon, right here, that's a nonmetal, and oxygen, that's a nonmetal. So in this case, we're not going to worry about the charge because we have two nonmetals. We just look at the prefixes. So we have carbon, that's C, and then we know oxygen, that's O, the oxide, and that di, di means two, like a pair of dice, CO2. That's the formula for carbon dioxide. So when you're writing formula and you see these prefixes here, you're probably dealing with nonmetals, and it's a covalent or molecular compound. That's it. This is Dr. B. I hope this helped you with formula writing. 
Thanks for watching.